Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz. I don't know how to start this one. I'll be honest guys, I don't know much about the Super Monkey Ball franchise. I know it's you're a monkey in a ball, you roll toward the goal, uh, people seem to like it, it's got a cult following, that's about it. But I do know one thing for certain, Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz for the Wii is freaking fun, and today we're going to talk about it. I have no idea how I've come to own this game, it feels like I've just always had it. Honestly, it feels like I've had it since before the Wii even came out. Did I make this game? No. No, 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 that's impossible. Right? Anyway, I've had this game a long time and I've logged more hours into it than I care to know. But, I do have one confession. Over all those years, I have barely ever touched the single player campaign. Sounds crazy, I know, but today, I will not be changing that. Look, I'm sure it's great, but my heart will forever and always be with a little something called Party Mode. There are a whopping 50 minigames to play in here, and today, I'm going to be playing through 11 of them. Look, I'm a busy guy, but it'll still be great. So Richard, hit that intro. Oh, wait. Yeah, you know, this probably would have been a better spot for it. Nah, you know what? I'm sticking to my guns. Now, you might be wondering, why aren't you playing the HD version for the Switch? There's an HD version for the Switch? Available on Steam, Xbox, PlayStation, and Switch. A hundred twisting and turning levels. Ten mini- Ten mini games? Today, we're playing Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz. The original. Richard, hit that crap! Okay, so right off the bat, the magic of party mode comes from playing with some buddies on the couch next to you. Yeah, you can play them all single player and try to get a high score or something, but it's just not the same. So first things first, you've got to pick a character. I'm pretty sure Ai Ai here is the poster child, but you already know I gotta go with my girl Yan Yan. What, you thought I was gonna pick Baby or Gon Gon over her? No, Baby kinda sucks, Gon Gon's dumb, Yan Yan for life. Like I mentioned earlier, there are a whopping 50 mini games to play here. And while I'm not going to be playing every single one today, there are some real gems in here. Like Monkey War, which makes Halo look like a freaking super soaker fight, which, uh, you know what, bad analogy, that sounds awesome. It makes it look like, um, like, uh, like something really boring, I don't know. Monkey War is awesome, is what I'm trying to say. Sneaking around, throwing out pineapple grenades, getting into a tank and shredding people, blasting Gon Gon away because he keeps getting right in your face. Stop! Admittedly, I did get killed by Ai Ai twice. Yeah, 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 you're on the box, I get it. Show off. Baby, still kind of sucks though. Another great game is Dangerous Route, where you have to navigate through a complex maze using just your pointer. Honestly... I think I just like this one because I'm real good at it, and I get to gloat when I'm watching my friends struggle and I finished two minutes ago. Does that make me a bad person? Probably. But my personal favorite game has got to be Monkey Hang Gliding. It seems pretty simple at first. You get shot out of a cannon, and you gotta glide your way onto this target. You get extra points by collecting bananas and dropping your bonus ball. That's really all there is to it. I don't know what it is, but something about this is just so addicting. It's so short, yet so sweet, and you always find yourself saying, huh, just one more round couldn't hurt, right? And the next thing you know, a week has gone by, you've been pronounced dead, and you've become a hang gliding god. Not like I, that, that's not a personal anecdote or anything, no, no, I wouldn't know what that's like. 
It's true though, it did happen. I lied. And that's it. Those are the only three good mini games. Three out of 50, six percent. But if you'll think back to when I played a bunch of game show games in season one, you'll know that I have a soft spot for bad games and especially bad party games. So while the rest of the mini games range from mediocre to borderline criminally bad, what can I say? They're fun. Hovercraft Battle sounds like it should be the coolest thing ever. I like hovercrafts. I like battles. It's a match made in heaven. Except you spend the whole time fighting with the controls just to move in the direction you want, and the only way to reliably hit people is with a boost that never works when you want it to. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't get a single point, but hey, there were two IIs, so what are you gonna do? Also, Gongon's here. He lost. No surprise there. There's also a bunch of games that are just monkey sport. You've got bowling, darts, fencing, snowboard, squash, and they all suck. But easily, the worst and also funniest of them all is monkey golf. For one, it takes freaking forever. Most games last two minutes tops, but this one, you have to play at least nine full holes. And when I say have to, I mean it. There is literally no way to quit a minigame once you've started without resetting the whole game. And to make matters worse, the controls are atrocious. You have to use motion controls in order to aim your shot. Now normally, I wouldn't have a problem with this. I've gone on record before saying that I like most motion controls, but here it's just so bad. Half the time your character just starts spinning in a circle and there is nothing you can do to stop them, you just have to wait for them to go all the way back around. And once you do have your shot lined up, pff, good luck with the swing. It always takes a couple of tries for it to even register, and there is basically no reliable way to determine how hard you hit. I guess Yan Yan's got some freaking cannons, because she has absolutely no short game. If you get lucky and wind up right next to the hole, pff, sorry pal, you might as well be a mile away. The terrible controls mixed with an already long game means you'll be missing another week, but this time, you won't come out the other side of golfing god. You'll have created a new language with your friends about only golf, talking about things like the finesse game or getting niners when you reach a stroke limit, even though you get 10 points so it doesn't really make any sense. But that's just what Super Monkey Ball Golf does to you. That part's real though, we actually called them niners, what, that doesn't make any sense. But I hear you, if they couldn't figure out golf, then surely their disc golf game must work flawlessly, right? No. All right, let's see. That uh, that looks pretty good to me. Let's just whoop. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Must have been a fluke. Let's just uh, keep it nice and straight. Just nice and straight. Nope, nope. Okay. All right, all right, all right. If it veers left, I just got to aim to the right. All right, all right. This looks pretty good. I'll just give it a nice, easy toss, and it'll curve right. Are you kidding me? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go way over to the right. If this doesn't work, I swear to God. Okay. Okay, we are right there. Now, I just gotta toss it in nice and easy. Nice and easy, Yan Yan. Just toss it in. All right, all right, let's stay far away from golf. How about Treasure Submarine? That sounds fun, right? First of all, this area is way too big. Half the time you're just aimlessly piloting around, and once you do get close to something, there's the problem of finding the freaking thing. I swear, this radar is purposely messing with you. Oh, oh, you're close. No, no, just kidding. No, you're not. Oh, oh, yes, you are. Right there, right. Oh, no, no, not there, you silly. <laughs> you know what? I'm about to bust out of it. Get me. Get me out of here. Get me out. Okay, how about trombone? <sighs> trombone. Trombone.
10 out of 10. Like I said, even if most of these games are not that good, they're still really funny and worth playing in my book. But this next one, Banana Catch, well, I'd really like to play it. Who knows? It might be the greatest game in the world. I doubt it. But I'll never know, because I was stuck on the freaking side the whole time no matter what I did. Come on, Yan Yan, just get, just get down, get down! Oh. Still be Gon Gon though. Dude, come on. I'm starting to feel bad about it at this point. Are you getting tired of monkeys? Did you ever think to yourself, what if these monkeys were frogs? Well then, Frog Hoppers is for you. But for all the people who had high hopes for this one, you'll both be disappointed to know that it's not very good. I know, I know. Just like our old friend Golf, aiming is not this game's strong suit. Your best bet is to try your best to get yourself pointed forward and then just go in a straight line until you absolutely have to turn. Also, whoever decided to make the last stretch a freaking landslide that sends you all the way down as you struggle to aim, why? Why did you do that? Who hurt you? Do you guys like Mario Kart? We'll get ready to throw that in the trash because Monkey Race is the new king. Honestly, this one seems pretty promising. You've got a bunch of different tracks, items, boost pads, a bunch of racers, but then you bounce off the edge at the top of this huge hill and when you get put back down you don't have enough speed to keep going and you roll all the way back down to the bottom and have to roll all the way back up only to fall off again and roll all the way back to the bottom again and it probably would have happened a third time if the game didn't force you to retire to save you the embarrassment. <sighs> Yeah, yeah, game, I get it, I suck. Show me the podium. I'm sure I, I dominated me. Oh. Gone, gone? Gone, gone one? Pff, well, now I'm... Pff, now... Now I feel... Proud? Like, like all this time I was only being hard on him because I... Because I knew that he could be better and I wanted the best for him? And you know what? He did it, damn it! He proved the haters wrong. He beat Ai Ai, the guy on the box, and he won the race that even I couldn't finish. He's his own. <clears throat> uh, he's his. He's his own gorilla now. He's. Uh, sorry, sorry. Someone's uh. Richard is just uh cutting an onion over there. And you know what? It's time for him to cast that training ball aside. It's time. For him to strike out on his own. Who knows? He might even finally try his hand at that single player campaign. Without me. You know, I always knew that this day would come, but now that it's time for me and Yan Yan to say goodbye to our little Gon Gon, I just. I lied about the onion, okay, okay? My little boy, he's all grown up! But Gon Gon, you don't worry about us. You just go out there, and you be the gorilla in a ball. That we all know you can be. Baby still kind of sucks though. And that's Super Monkey Ball. I know I went a little off the rails there at the end, but honestly, I have had a ton of fun with this game over the years. It's the kind of thing where the good games are fun, the bad games are fun. It's just bound to be a good time no matter when you play it. Existential crisis and all. But now, I just want to say thanks for sticking around to the end of whatever the heck that was. If you guys did enjoy, as always, let me know and leave your suggestions in the comments down below. Uh, if you didn't know, these first six episodes of the show were all recorded in the same week, way back when, before you're seeing this. So, for the next six episodes, I can actually act on your comments and hopefully make the show that much better. If you guys want to see more from me, you can subscribe to get notified or follow me on Twitter for more regular updates on when new videos are coming out. You can also click on some of the videos floating around on the screen or check them out all over my channel. You're bound to find something there that you like. But I will see you guys in the next episode. But until then, don't forget to take it easy. Richard, hit that intro.